So Thornbrook Road Bridge gives access to Pomona Docks. The docks here are um, part of Salford Docks. Dock number three is here. The canal lock is a new addition um, into Salford Wharf from the Bridgewater Canal. We need to imagine Media City isn't here. Yes, if I imagine. Great acoustics, you see. Jumps over to the area. And then back where we were, to explain something. Is back on the Bridgewater Canal to explain something. So, just to explain what this edition or this video and this playlist is mainly about Bridgewater Canal. But this section is all about the Manchester Ship Canal. So, as we've been walking along to our left hand side would be the south bank. So, we'll imagine the Bridgewater Canal at this section is the River Mersey and that's flowing south of Manchester. The road I'm on, down the middle, would represent the Bridgewater Canal which flows through the middle of the Irwell and the Mersey. So this road hasn't been put here, just by mistake by the way. It's part of the old locks. So that's what I'm going to attempt to explain. Because I've said in the past. I try to break things down into smaller segments. So it makes a bit more sense. had locks which are part of the old Irwell navigation which has now become the Manchester Ship Canal. So on this side of the bank is the docks on Pomona Island. The new docks, Salford Keys and the docks for the first part of the ship canal we're on the far bank uh, we're heading west so that's the north bank this is the south bank I'll just show you the bridge water and the Irwell is of course to the north or on our right hand side so once upon a time, the Irwell just joined the River Mersey and it was just used as a navigation. So boats were floated along, but it wasn't perfect. And there were massive levees that were paying to the Liverpool Dock area. Also, on the opposite bank from what we've seen before. So the Bridgewater Canal crosses over the navigation over originally in the 1760s 70s a stone one of the first of its kind aqueduct which is no longer there and it crossed over the navigation that bridge was removed and replaced by an iron swing bridge Barton swing aqueduct which is one of its kind as well but there's five swing bridges along the Manchester Ship Canal. So when they've upgraded to the Ship Canal, all the bridges have been replaced. Originally, there would have been all the original bridges of the navigation. So the canal flowed and went over the navigation and then went on its merry little way around and then ended up in Liverpool docks. Originally it was much shorter than that, by the way. So it has to cross over from the middle of the Mersey and the Irwell. It has to cross over to its right hand side, the navigation, which it does at Barton. The canal does split in two. One goes towards the River Mersey, one section of canal. The other section, goes over the navigation. Now, 
the Mersey is then next to the Irwell. The two are parallel travelling along. It's then turned into the Manchester Ship Canal as I've said upgraded with different bridges. At some point <coughs> the Mersey which the Liverpool docks are actually on the north bank on the other side. So the Mersey must cross the Irwell at some point because it used to join it so the ship canal is a separate entity. It is the River Irwell but turned into a canal basically, a big large canal. So further down towards Warrington, I think it's Runcar, the Mersey enters into the Manchester Ship Canal. Originally that would be half a mile of the original section of the navigation. The Mersey then leaves to the right hand side. So it enters from the left hand bank and it leaves on the right hand bank of the Ship Canal. The Ship Canal also has five lock gates. I've not been able to get any good footage of a lock but I will do in another video. So the next one will be about interesting locks and Barton Swing Bridge and more engineering type structures. This is more about the navigation. As I said, so the bridge water splits in two, crosses over the Irwell to its right and over the Mersey to its left. That's all we need to know at the moment. It forms a loop and it joins again. But, as I say, the navigation, the Manchester Ship Canal, ducks, uh, it's more like in the, on the Wirral. So it's on the um, south bank in Liverpool. So it's opposite their docks on the other bank and it's not in Liverpool. So the Manchester Ship Canal has built its own docks, its own canal, which joins to Manchester. Uh, the only connection is where the Mersey flows through it. The canal flows on the right hand side all the way into Liverpool of the Mersey. So all three cross over one another as they travel towards Liverpool, which was an important point because it, it was confusing me that at first. I thought there must be a bridge that took the Mersey under the ship canal or something like that, but it just joins the ship canal for a short time, then leaves the ship canal further down. And that is pretty good explanation of what we're going to see today okay so we're going to do a loop we'll start at the what's media city now but was originally just salford shipping dock so manchester i'm here today at salford keys there's a thing that makes me uh very proud to be a manganian so late 1800s Manchester was um, in a decline from its industrial revolution but mainly because of the levies that were being put on us from the Liverpool docks so there was a Liverpool docks, a Mersey and Irwell navigation but this is the sort of thing that makes me proud to be a Mancunian we didn't give up and instead of paying the levies we brought the sea to us. We dug a, um, like a 50 mile canal this width all the way to the sea. So we brought the sea to us. And that's the sort of we can do it attitude that has made Manchester the city it is today. And that is absolutely true. Over there is the ITV studio. The reason the ship canal was closed was because the boats were no longer big enough to carry the freight containers that they use these days, these are these sort of small ships, seagoing vessels. And bridge over there lifts, that bridge. But this is just my introduction. were no longer 
big enough to carry the, the freight containers that they use these days. It just went into decline slower towards the end, so they closed it down. So that's why Media City is here now. Okay, let's continue down here. Manchester docks were a series of nine docks in Salford, Stretford and Manchester. At the east end of the Manchester Ship Canal in northwest England. They formed part of the port of Manchester from 1894 until their closure in 1982. The docks marked the upper reaches of the Ship Canal. Uh, they were uh, we were extremely busy, so there was a lot of hustle and bustle going on here. It was quite a dangerous, noisy place. I've explained, I, I, that's what I'm trying to explain, what it was like. So Media City UK is now on the site. It's a 200 acre mixed use property development on the banks of the Manchester Ship Canal, where we are today. We're also going to look at the Bridgewater Canal. It's in the Bridgewater Canal playlist. Um, it's, what's it? They're like symbionts of one another. They're intertwined with history. But I think they're separate companies that own them and run them. There's an extra lock gate from the Noma lock from the four, that, I think. Uh, there's an extra lock for each of the canal now that wasn't uh, uh, previously in all the maps I've checked quite a lot of maps so that's I think it's as recent as the 80s when they reopened it uh, they were a destination for both coastal and ocean bound vessels carrying cargo and a limited number of passengers often travelling to and from Canada Parts of Manchester, Manchester Docks, uh, Peel Media set up the development of this project. Uh, Manchester Ship Canal, Stretford and Trafford, and Greater Manchester City Council in England all intertwined. Seems to be a major link. Um, saw most of the business about the canal. Uh, trading with Canada. The canal is closed to boat traffic currently and is secure so as yet I've not filmed the locks although I have got a peep at one and a view of where it is situated creating a wharf so the river or chip canal is slightly lower by a few feet so it's your first lock gate, which creates the wharf because this water is higher and it's filled by the, all the rivers except the Mersey, basically. There's also the River Goit. The Manchester docks were divided into two sections the larger Salford docks to the west of the Trafford Road Swing Bridge and Pomona docks to the east. Each section consisted of four docks in total, although the, the count of ten. The, 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 the largest being the West Dock 5 at Pomona, it was never fully completed. Of the eight working docks, only one, Dock 1 at Pomona, was within Manchester itself. During much of 1948, Manchester Docks were Britain's third busiest part. The University of Salford were involved in designing it and media organisations are part of the university as well as certain television production companies as well. The BBC signalled its intention to move jobs to Manchester. The ITV Gunnar Studios has always been located in Manchester, so I've mentioned two networks. I won't mention more networks, they're very professional. Topic Keysight was chosen in 2006 
appeal group was granted planning permission. Whether the appeal group had anything to do with Sir Robert Peel's family, you know, down the line, I'm not sure. I'm sure Peel owns certain sections of land in this area from back in the day and still owns it. Anyway, the 2007 construction of the development had its own energy generation plant and communications network, a uh, basic key house. In the 1970s, the docks began a rapid decline, largely due to containerization, uh, the increasing size of freights carrying ships. But they could no longer navigate the ship canal. 